my, uh, my can of soda. Uh, yes, soda. Now, what, what is your favorite soda? Do you? Dr. Pepper. That's very popular down here, isn't it? Who else has a favorite? Do you have a favorite soda? For Sprite? Yes? Caffeine-free Sprite. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Do we have any other diet coffee? Yes. Nothing. Excellent. Because these really aren't all that healthy for you to begin with. Uh, I'm doing much better with my Diet Coke. Not that you're all necessarily following that. But, uh, I don't keep any in the house anymore. Uh, so it's whatever I get going through drive throughs a couple times a day. But I'm, I'm doing much better. <laughs> the reason I brought this, though, is because the man we're about to introduce made all of this possible. We would not have soda without him. Because he's the guy. And you know what happens when, if I were to shake this up just like this. And, <laughs> Why are, you, why are you going back? Why are you going back? Open. Don't open it? You don't want me to open it like this? Why not? Well, all right, all right. I'm, I'm <laughs> Walk away from the case. Why is that the case? You know why? It explodes. You know why? You know why? Because um, a chemical reaction. That's right. You know what it is? Oh, see, it's always bad to be the third one in. <laughs> Carbonation, there we go. Uh, the carbon dioxide. Now, we breathe out carbon dioxide. You know, and if you just breathe into a cup of water, that's not going to fizz up. There's some trick to infusing carbon dioxide into water. And that's what, that's what our speaker today figured out. And he did some other things that we're going to talk to you about. But I just wanted to show you that because that's the most important thing he did as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Not, not George Washington, no. No, our guest today is the uh, eminent, eminent uh, scholar and theologian and Unitarian minister. I want you to all welcome Joseph Priestley. Would you come out? Please. 